Greetings my saplings, today we will be discussing the Jordan 1 Dark Mocha. Specifically, we'll be discussing some release info, how to cop, and of course, like always, some resale predictions for everything at the end of the video. The Jordan 1 Mocha will be releasing for $170 in men and $130 in grade school size. The release date will be October 31st, Halloween. The release date for Europe, however, is going to be delayed to November 20th. Regarding resale, we will cover that towards the end of the video as always, and it's looking very good. I'll explain why later. Regarding stock, it's actually not looking too bad at all, but keep in mind, demand or competition is still extremely high for these. Stock will be 280,000 pairs. Keep in mind though, European pairs is still a large portion of that and won't drop until the 20th though. But yeah, this number is very high, but trust me, it won't matter much at all when we do discuss the resale. But anyway, with the release info out of the way though, let's jump into how to cop these. Let's talk about how you can get your hands on a pair of these for personal wear or if you have resale intentions. Kicking it off regarding any raffles, you should expect me to tweet out a raffle list for the drop and when there is the Europe drop as well, so make sure to follow my Twitter, KeithAdam10, and as raffles open up, myself and some staff will be tweeting them out on personals for you. This is actually an account I just recently made for you guys to help you out even more for free. My main account will still alert you guys for shock drops as usual and whatnot, but this account, but this account will have the help of staff as well. So in case I lose Wi-Fi, hypothetically or something in a shock drop or a restock is coming staff will still be able to tweet out on that account so I'd highly highly suggest following because again guys it's completely free also plenty of steals and deals to help save you guys money too my goal is just to help you guys as much as possible and this will go for any of the mocha Jordan 1 restocks as well but anyway moving on from that we should also see flex app raffles for these for foot stores such as Foot Locker Champs and Foot Action if you have not already ensure that you download the Foot Locker app so you'll be ready to sign in when the in-store reservations do pop up. I highly suggest making multiple accounts with friends of yours. They will need to have unique names if you are selecting at the same store or hypothetically you can also select different stores with the same name on different accounts. You will need to provide an ID when picking up your pairs hence I mentioned that the name actually has to be accurate with someone who could pick them up. So again I'd suggest that you make some accounts with some friends names and trying to build those up too. You can pay them percentages of your profit whenever they come with you to pick them up. In fact, a guy at my old mall actually used to help out homeless people by doing this. You would give them a small treat or help them with lunch or something like that, which was pretty clever considering it was a win-win for all parties. You know, he was doing a good thing, I suppose, and he was also making more money because all these guys were helping him and they didn't really know what they were doing it for, but regardless, it was a win-win situation for everyone. Not saying that you should go that route, of course, specifically due to the safety precautions, but at least reach out to some friends of yours is what I would suggest. It's also not completely random anymore so your points do matter for earning head starts which you need more purchases to earn hence I say you need to build these accounts up. But once you start copying on them it's super easy to maintain them. Now with that out of the way let's discuss the drops that should be occurring on the 31st. The first come first serve drops in chronological order so you guys could prepare your setups and your schedule. All links for these product pages are not loaded right now, except for a few, but I will post a full site list for most of these on my Twitter, KeithAdam10, and personals for you. We'll be trying to warn you guys ahead when drops are incoming and whatnot, and of course for restocks. So now starting in chronological order at 8 a.m. Eastern Time, Undefeated should be dropping these. In the hypothetical case that they don't, just like the biohacks, you then should expect them to drop sometime around 12 p.m. Eastern Time or 1 p.m. Eastern Time. The biohacks we're actually at 1.15 p.m. Eastern Time. It's a rarity for Undefeated to do this unless the shoe is really hyped, which this shoe happens to be really hyped, so it definitely is a possibility, but be alert for 8 a.m. Eastern Time. So if you're in a group, you'll want to be camping in the monitor channel at 8 a.m. If you don't have access to a monitor or auto filler at least, it will be definitely very difficult to cop here due to the high demand since it is the only site dropping at 8 a.m. It's also Shopify, so it's going to be heavily botted as well, of course. 
If you don't have access to a monitor, just try refreshing the search page for AJ1 High. Unlike the other sites, which you'll see is going to be Jordan 1 High for the other Shopify sites. Now, after carding, expect to have to solve a checkpoint captcha, and also make sure you are logged into your undefeated account beforehand because undefeated is one of the few sites that actually requires you to be signed in to check out. But anyway, moving on to 9 a.m. Eastern Time, we may potentially see three Shopify sites dropping. These would be Ama Minier, Social Status, and APB Store. This is just because they sometimes do it at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, sometimes 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, but in the hypothetical case that they don't, they then should be dropping at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. And at that point, I definitely would not place your focus on here, considering there's so many much other stuff to focus on at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, which I'm going to break down for you guys, of course. However, if they do end up dropping at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, it's good to be prepared to be safe, of course, since they very often do. Since there is nothing else to focus on at that time, might as well give it a shot, of course, even though the chances of copying from these few sites are very, very slim manually, at least. Same as Undefeated, expect a checkpoint CAPTCHA, but there is no account required here, unlike Undefeated. Make sure you set up Chrome Autofill at the very least two and if you do happen to have an auto filler definitely make sure you take advantage of that as well now moving on to 10 a.m eastern time this is where the actual fun begins since there is a lot to focus on i'm going to be guiding you guys and suggesting how to efficiently manage your time first i would suggest choosing one or two shopify sites to focus on at exactly 10 a.m eastern time since those will be selling out the quickest if i had to choose two for you guys to recommend i would suggest jimmy jazz and DTLR, since those definitely get very high stock in comparison to others like the ones we mentioned beforehand, and they also do have a checkpoint which definitely helps. Shop Nice Kicks also has good stock and showed his shoe palace, but variants are loaded beforehand, which gives bots a significant advantage compared to these other sites. So that is something worth considering as well. And if you are in a group that sends Kith early links, I would also suggest going for Kith since that does give you a slight edge if you do have the early links. But if not, again, Again, I'd suggest just focusing on Jimmy Jazz and DTLR. Now, an alternative for choosing a Shopify site if you definitely don't want to go for a Shopify site at 10 a.m. Eastern Time for whatever reason, the alternative would be going for Hibbit at exactly 10 a.m. Eastern Time as well since Hibbit will also sell out very quickly. Both men and grade school pages are already loaded. Just go to the launches page and click on coming soon to find it. My biggest advice when it comes to Hibbit is to use Apple Pay on your mobile device for an efficient, fast checkout. Now, right after that drop is over or even while you're waiting in the Shopify queues, I want you guys to enter in as many sneakers accounts in the drop as possible until around 10.03 a.m. Eastern Time. I'll explain why that is soon. This is going to be your number one chance by far for copying these. Not only is the most stock allocated to Nike sneakers by a significant amount, but they also have been doing an incredible job with stopping bots recently. The minimal amount of success that bots do get on these very hype drops compared to what they used to last year is solely through browser mode which prevents mass tasks from being ran just like they were before. So anyway, now what's the most efficient way to cop off of Nike sneakers manually? This drop is going to be a lead drop, not a draw which I discussed in my last had a cop video. Leo drops essentially look very similar to a first come first serve drop but are actually just two to three minute draws and disguises. Leo stands for let everyone order but it's not quite that simple either when it does come to very hype drops like this or off white, Travis drops or even just any Jordan 1 highs in general filtering of accounts even on Leo drops not just draws is very very high so in order to combat this you need to prime your Nike sneakers accounts similar to what you would do for Gmail accounts when trying to avoid fading captures. When it comes to Nike sneakers accounts, in order to generate activity, you could favorite multiple products, click the share option, and simply going for more drops in general. In fact, that's the most important thing. Believe it or not, taking L's actually increases your chances of winning and even getting exclusive access on drops, but you can't only go for the hype drops. You also need to go for some semi-brick drops, the types of drops that only get you 10 to $15 profit or so, and keep in mind you could always return shoes on Nike sneakers. You could always cancel within 30 minutes or so and also it's a big misconception that you actually have your account hindered if you cancel trust me your account will not be hindered if you cancel your orders that's completely fine it doesn't affect your chances of winning but um anyway so yeah
yeah, definitely take advantage of as many drops as you could, go for as many as you can. That is what's going to increase your chances of copying on accounts. Another highly suggested method to increase activity is watching the street sneakers videos on all of your accounts. If you need to make more accounts, remember that Nike requires SMS verification, so you can't use the same number twice, unfortunately, and you will have to use a friend of yours and use their phone number and ask them for the verification code once they receive it. It's very simple. However, if you don't want to bother your friends or you just want a significant amount of pre-verified Nike sneakers accounts in general, you can feel free to check out my site, TARS. The link for that is in the description below for pre-verified Nike sneakers or Adidas accounts for when there are Adidas raffles. Now, after Nike sneakers, it'll be around 10.04 a.m. Eastern Time or so to 10.05 a.m. Eastern Time, somewhere in that range. At this point, you'll want to shift your focus to foot sites and periodically checking Finish Line, JD Sports, and Snipes to see if you've gotten passed through Q on all of your tabs. Make sure to set these tabs up for these sites beforehand. You should set these up as soon as you see my account or personals for you tweet out the links. This way, you'll already be ready to go and waiting in queue after Nike sneakers. The key to copying on foot sites, which is Foot Locker, Kids Foot Locker, Foot Action, East Bay and Champs is persistency, not exactly speed. I've been seeing people cop manually on foot slides as late as 45 minutes into the drop. You really just can't give up on these. You have to keep on clicking add to cart over and over and over again until it finally does cart. I must admit, they are very, very terrible sites. Now, as for Finish Line, JD Sports, and Snipes, as you're trying to card on foot sites, just periodically keep checking your tabs to see if you have pass Q eventually. When you do pass Q, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just try to add the product to cart and check out. Again, personals for you will have the links tweeted, so once you pass Q, you should be right on the product page ready to go. Now, that will be it for the how to cut portion of the guide until we get to the Europe drop, which is going to be November 20th. That's when the rest of the stock for these is going to be released. So we may even see the prices change a little bit comes November. I personally don't think it's going to be too significant because people are anticipating that. But anyway, we're going to discuss that more a little later. Now with the how to cop out of the way, let's move on to the resale predictions like I was just briefly mentioning. Regarding resale predictions now, stock is about 280,000 pairs. Might seem like a very large number, and it is, don't get me wrong, but don't let that mislead. These will still be relatively hard to get, not like off-white of course, but still not an easy cop by any means. In fact, it should be even harder to get than most Jordan ones than what you're used to getting, like the Lucky Greens, despite these having that very high stop. Also keep in mind that there was over a million pairs of Concord Jordan 11s and they still resold for easy lunch money. The same goes for the Bread 11s, they still resold, still were able to make profit off of these. Now take into account that these aren't even close to a million, and the demand for these is absolutely ridiculous. The demand is amazing. It's insane, to be honest, since they are a Jordan 1 high, and they look very reminiscent of the Travis Scott Jordan 1. Personally, I feel like that is definitely a major contributor, whether you want to admit it or not. The fact that these look very similar to a very hype sneaker, such as the Travis Scott Jordan 1, plays a huge role in this. Demand always outweighs supply in terms of effects for these types of sneakers, so for that reason, I still suggest you go full throttle on these. All sizes, not just small sizes, even the big ones. Small sizes will have the best margin, however, I am personally going to be running random size. That means I'm even going to be trying to cop size 14 and 13, 10, 11, 12. You get the gist of it. So grade school sizes too, same situation. I'm expecting them to both be very profitable with a good margin still, despite the high stock. Not like off-white, but perhaps in like maybe the 275 range initially, after shipments come in perhaps a little more, a little less, and around maybe $240 for the grade school pairs, they'll likely be even more initially than that, but this is just for when shipments actually begin coming in within about a week or so. Now, when you do get these regarding holding or selling, be sure to first watch my prior video, but I may also be making one specifically for these after they do end up dropping. Let me know if you'd like to see that. Also, I'm thinking of doing doing some more live streams. Even if they're not live cops, I'm thinking of doing Q&As before drops to maybe help you guys with your bot setups or even your manual setups. I don't know, just anything to keep on helping you guys out cop these shoes. Let me know if you'd be interested in something like that, like pre-drop Q&As, something of that nature. But anyway, that will conclude it for today. Good luck on this drop. We're all going to be needing it despite the high stock, of course. Feel free to leave a like if you did enjoy or you perhaps learned a thing or two. Also, subscribe and enable post notifications just so 
you stay 100% updated on any hype sneaker that is going to be profitable. And remember, if you guys do need proxies or Nike sneakers accounts, be sure to check the links in the description for TARS and KIP proxies. And of course, follow my Twitter, KeithAdam10, and personals for you so you always stay 100% updated on all these restocks, shock drops, etc. And with that, I'll see you guys later. Enjoy the rest of your day.